In just a few days, the open enrollment period begins in the state. That means parents can apply to send their children to any public school district of their choice. With state aid at stake, recruiting efforts have become more widespread as school districts compete for students. Tonight, we have multiple views. I think it's a really good fit for me. I, I love the students here. The teachers are great. Bailey Jaworski is a sophomore at Ashwabanon High School. She doesn't live in the district, but applied to come here through open enrollment. I thought Ashwabanon had a really good drama program here, and I like the idea of the block scheduling because then I could fit more classes into my schedule. The open enrollment period for the 2010-2011 school year begins Monday. <music> Recruiting efforts by school districts are underway. From viral videos to newspaper ads and front page links on district websites. Faced with tight budgets, districts are competing to fill their buildings in order to avoid cuts. School districts receive nearly $6,500 in state aid for each student enrolled. We have a multimedia campaign going on um, with billboards and we have a TV ad running. We have um, an ad in the Green Bay Press Gazette and on their website as well. The Green Bay Area Public School District is spending $3,600 to attract more students. District spokeswoman Amanda Brooker says this year Green Bay schools gained 135 students through school choice but lost 600. School districts were losing revenue and um, it's costly and it's hurting. You know, especially the larger urban districts, it's really, we're taking a blow from school choice. Other districts like Eshwabanon say they are seeing benefits from school choice. Superintendent David Schmidt says 550 students transferred into the district this year, while about 35 went elsewhere. Open enrollment is um, a necessity now in the age of choice, where parents ought to like where they're going. And uh, if they don't like where they're going, like we do in shopping or in anything we do, we make another choice. And so it allows people some freedom. Schmidt says the district is spending about $1,600 on newspaper ads to recruit what he hopes adds up to be more than 100 students. We don't do a lot of advertising around it. Um, we haven't had to, as perception-wise, uh, as well as some of the programs that we have draw people to us. With uh, almost 20% of our kids open enrolling into Ashwabanon, um, we are, I like to call us the district of choice. According to the Department of Public Instruction, since the program began, participation in open enrollment has grown. Last school year, nearly 30,000 students transferred to another school district through open enrollment. With the popular program here to stay, Brooker says the Green Bay School District is taking a closer look at why families are leaving. That's part of what we're doing right now um, is as, as we receive applications, we're going to be calling families and just you know, asking them to please be honest with us because if there's things we can change, those are the things we're going to change. Bailey Jaworski says what it boils down to for her is the quality of education. It's what matters first.